It is currently 3.15 in the morning. I am tired, but I cannot sleep. <laughs> uh, I've been having kind of a crazy schedule recently with uh, work, social life, family life, all that jazz, and I just have not had time, and I apologize, <laughs> uh, especially because working on, on all these lovely projects for this channel are like my peace of mind, my me time to just craft and have fun. So, again, sorry if you get some really weird middle of the night commentary. Uh, I'm probably gonna focus more on the project, which actually is Honey Lemon's Purse. At least the start of it right now. Um, like I said, busy life in this weekend is no different. Actually, uh, tomorrow is a big day because I'm actually going to find, I actually found time to go to James's and actually have access to his garage and all of our tools, which I do not have in my tiny apartment. So today we're gonna to be working on constructing Honey Lemon's battle purse out of lovely cardboard. <laughs> um, originally I wanted to kind of just find something in like a thrift shop, super cheap, something on Amazon but I couldn't find anything quite the right shape. And also we want to kind of do some cool mechanics uh, with the purse to actually make uh, the balls pop out, which I purchased a giant bulk of these uh, playset balls on Amazon in a whole variety of colors, but obviously I only needed the orange, blue, and sorry, orange, purple, and red. So if you need any playset balls, let me know. I'm more than happy to ship them to you. I think I have like over 75 in all the other colors um but yeah so we're just gonna get started because this needs to be done before noon tomorrow <laughs> i'm sorry in advance i'm slightly delusional but we're gonna get this done so i have all these lovely one sorry <sighs> one millimeter foam pieces uh, that I just bought at uh, my local, I wanna say Michaels or Joanne Fabrics. I don't know, but they just come in really simple packs um, with a whole bunch of colors. And I cut the cardboard to about the size that I want, which is actually the same width as the foam, which will make it a lot easier uh, because when we actually construct the purse together, we're going to wrap it in this foam so we can paint it the color that we want, uh, and I'll have a nice smooth finish as well. So what I did is I, I have a wonderful cat, Minion, uh, and I took his chewy box. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm sorry, again, for the lighting and all this good stuff. Um, so I just took the box uh, that his food came in, I cut it to size, uh, the bottom, the two sides, oh, that's not a side, the side, and an overarching top, and then when I kind of get that whole layout put together, I'm going to cut out the sides there, but I want to make sure that I have the correct dimensions. Uh, to do this curved top part, it took quite a bit of time, I want to say it took me a good half hour just to make sure that it crumpled up correctly and it made this nice crisp shape. It's a little wonky, but we'll be able to fix that uh, probably with just a little bit of contact cement and eventually with the heat gun and probably the weight of the foam will help as well. So we're just gonna get started. For the third time, I apologize for the craziness of it all. Let's get to it. All right, so it's been kind of a learning process. Uh, we did make a few changes along the way. Uh, because this cardboard is so thin, I couldn't really use the contact cement uh, to stick the different sides to together, so I decided to use hot glue, which worked out great, actually. Uh, and since we are going to cover this in foam uh, using contact cement, it'll still be fairly sturdy enough uh, I'm still going to go in on the inside with some more hot glue just to make sure all of the 
corners are secure. And I did make sure not to hot glue the top circle parts here uh, and not one edge because this I'm gonna have the foam come over so that I can open the purse up if I want to. It can't go too, too far because we did need to hot glue at least one of the edges of the top curved piece to the side. So, you know, it'll actually stay on. Um, but because the cardboard is flexible enough, I don't wanna test push it too much right now just cause it is still a little bit weak, but we will strengthen it and once we have that foam on top of it that'll just be another layer of structure to keep it together so i'm ambitious let's work on that now all right guys so it is now oh it is 5 30 in the morning uh i took a quick break and kind of in the middle of uh context cementing all this lovely foam all around my new purse, which is coming together so nicely. I actually really like the size. It's a little bit bigger than I envisioned, but you know what? If I want to work in contraption, kind of need the extra space to do it. Uh, I put some tape on it just to make sure that the cardboard keeps the shape that I want it. And before my battery dies again for the third time tonight, now it's time to go to James's to vinyl dye and spray paint. And then I can put the straps on and everything. So that will happen in six hours. <laughs> Hopefully I can get some sleep tonight. So we are trying to, right now, James is on the other bench, uh, kind of putting together a little apparatus so that on the side here, I can open up a flap and then have a uh, plastic ball piece have one of the many gajillion play balls that I was discussing last night, well, technically this morning, uh, just kind of fall out so I can, like, handle it. Um, so that would just be kind of cool, just to, like, it's nothing super fancy, it's literally just a little holder for this um, inside, and then I can still function the actual purse portion, uh, and just be nice, like, again, just a little touch. Uh, for right now, because I can't really put my hand in at the moment, because I did encircle the entire thing, and this flap that I uh, contacted cemented down all the way last night just kind of folds over, and we're going to put a magnet clip here mm -hmm. so that it'll actually stay closed until I actually pull it off. Um, we're going to cut off this extra exposed cardboard that the foam didn't cover. Uh, just so I have a little bit more room for my hand to reach in if I do decide to put stuff in here. It is so super light, but much more sturdy than I expected, especially because I ended up only using primarily hot glue because the contact cement didn't hold as well. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to cut this part off now, and you guys are going to see us kind of trying to put that little uh, ball apparatus holder onto the side here. So yeah. <laughs> James has finished making a lovely little contraption. Um, when he handed it to me, <laughs> I had a, a slight request. He originally put uh, this part, which is going to be up against the cardboard in here, so it actually will have a hinge. Um, he put it on the inside here, but then that obviously left the top gap of this cardboard kind of hanging out, so there would be a gap all the way around. And we obviously did not want that. So the lovely, lovely but. person that he is, he fixed it and put it on top uh, so that it all lines up appropriately. And But by we, well. she means she, and by we, it means me fix. She, he did fix. So we want to reiterate, see something, say something. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> We're a very wholesome family channel. We like to teach this, you this, <laughs> this message has been brought to you by the TSA. <laughs> Is it the TSA? I thought it was a uh, public transportation. That too. I, Tran I think, transportation Authority. I the think PTA. The Public Transportation Authority. Well, I think it's also partially uh, part of the um, Department of Homeland Security. Yeah. Alright, so now because James is so wonderful by accident will say well yeah it definitely was by accident but what he was phenomenal enough to do 
was uh, actually <laughs> he actually he made this the same width as the strap, so it just looks so nice. I'm so happy about it. <laughs> okay, so we, now we the, don't make mistakes on this channel. We have happy little accidents. We have happy little accidents. So now that I have traced this onto the side here, uh, I'm going to slowly score it. Um, just because I don't want to mess up all the work that I've already done to this. Uh, and not going to cut this part because this is the hinge. Do not cut this part off. <laughs> I feel like I need to put it like a sign. Do not cut. Um, but yeah. So now we're going to go ahead and score lightly and then kind of go from there. Let me double check to make sure it fits correctly again. Looks good to me. Alright. Oh perfect. god, a new blade just makes such a difference. Or the other side of it, whichever. <laughs> if you're ever hesitant, please take the cautionary way out. And also, always be careful when cutting over a line. You want to make sure that you stay in that line and not veer off because then you will have to fix that up. And that's a task I'm not ready to face today. That's why it's better to score it slowly but surely. I would not suggest cutting towards yourself. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do this. Just please don't cut your fingers off. I'm making sure my hand is not behind where the bleed is. For those freaking out, why is her hand inside of the purse while she's cutting this? That is a horrible, horrible idea. Yes, yes it is. Which is why I'm being very careful to only hold on to the edge. Just for stability. Look at oh, it. it works. Look at oh, it. It's snug. Nice. It's so snug, but like, that's a good thing. And I made it a little bit taller, which I'm totally fine with. All right, hot glue. Now remember, as I said uh, earlier in this video, when using hot glue, you want to work fairly fast because, at least for me, I always use low temperature glue guns, so the glue dries extremely quickly. So work fast as you can. So, we're gonna take the ball. I'm gonna, gonna put it in this little, little back pouch here. Oh, it fits so nice. Okay. And then, next what we're gonna do is put like a little tab right here or something. And then I'll be able to pull. And now it goes. And then back in. <laughs> I'm just I'm gonna kind of wear down this hinge so it'll stay down a little bit better. But... Otherwise, I'm totally fine with that. It works nice. It's not there at all. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we're going to need to put a tab here. Yeah. I can, I can honestly leave it slightly open. Sure. That's, that's not the end of the world. And just go, yeah. boop. Simpler is better, people. Look, we were thinking of all these different ideas, and thank you to the commenter. I forget your name off the top of my head. I'm sorry. Put give them credit. Oh. They wanted to put the the gun in here based off the animated series. Yes. But um, one, the gun was too big. Two, it was too heavy. Three, it was just too much. <laughs> but great thoughts. Thank you very much. Yep. And just it gave me. The, Put that on the side. Okay, just so you can see what his initial thought was. This would not fit in this tiny little purse. <laughs> the purse is like this, this big. <laughs> yes, I know in the series it grows and comes out bigger and it has, you know, adding like a one inch diameter tube to this would not be a problem. But also the question would be, would this be allowed in Comic-Con? Especially since it actually works. That's a very good point. So thank you. So thank you for the thoughts and ideas because we always appreciate those types of comments. It really gets our wheels thinking. But yeah, at this point we just wanted to do simpler. Uh, and I'm happy with it because you guys know me. The less I have to worry about at a con, the better. And I like less things. If anything, the reason why I really like the purse is because it actually functions as a purse and I can put more stuff in it with all my lovely goodies to purchase. <laughs> yes. I I'm going to go broke again. So, 
Uh, so next is plaster dipping. Plaster dipping and painting. Yeah. And then after that, I just have to put on the decal, which is just and a sticker I'm going to print out of the periodic table in pretty colors, yeah. and hot glue the ball stem. Yeah. Yay! All right, so now we're finally onto the last step of Honey Lemon's purse. Uh, let's do a quick recap, because again, things have been kind of scrambled and crazy, so I don't really remember everything that I have filmed. So one, we put together the purse structure by hot gluing cardboard pieces together and then we covered them with foam with contact cement, brought it over to James's workshop to uh, cut out our little contraption so that a ball will be able to pop out and create the strap, which we ended up actually redoing. We <laughs> took our time taking off the old one, uh, cut a new one and put more layers of uh, plastic dip on it. So it, and then a, a thinner layer of paint on top. That way the paint doesn't crack as much. Uh, and then we spray painted the whole thing, made sure it was a beautiful yellow color. It's perfect and matches everything else. And now all that's left is, oh, and then I put on this sticker and then I put, uh, which I just printed out on uh, some sticker paper that I got at Staples, uh, just an eight and a half by 11 sheet. I just downloaded this image off of Google, God bless DeviantArt, uh, and then Mod Podged over it to make sure it has kind of a nice shine to it and it makes sure that it sticks to the surface here. And now for the last step, we're going to contact cement these lovely balls. I just, these were supposed to be part of like a miniature kids uh, ball pit or play set. Uh, I bought a whole bunch of them. Uh, and so now we're going to contact cement them all around the strap in purple, red, orange uh, color coordination like it is on her purse. I realize the purple is a bit deeper purple uh, than it honestly should be, but that's what we got and that's what we're going with. So let's do that and then we'll be there. We'll be there. Yay. Everything's coming along especially with our short time period. We gotta, gotta get our butts moving. So let's get to it. And we have honey lemon bag. Ha ha. The ball stayed on really well with the contact cement. Uh, just a quick tip that I noticed. Once you put the contact cement down and then the ball, as always, do not try to move it. You most likely won't be able to anyways. Sorry for the cat. Uh, but it will peel off the paint if you do. Uh, so I did have to go in with a little paintbrush and kind of fill in the gaps uh, that did end up exposing the white plastic dip underneath. But honestly, it wasn't that much. Uh, I'm just glad that these were able to hold pretty well because they don't have flat bottoms. Uh, I just kind of, will you shush? Anyways, <laughs> I'm just glad that it was able to stick on fairly well and they are not coming off. The sticker looks great. The magnet clip is holding great. It snaps right onto itself. Uh, and then I'm actually able to open this up, stick my hand in, put anything I want, and oh, I'm totally putting this on the wrong shoulder. So all I have to do is pop this open. The little red ball comes out. I can pose with it launch it at people just for fun. Uh, I can definitely carry quite a few in here. And then I just have to put it on and it goes right back in. Uh, it's, it's so perfect. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Now all we have left is the shoes and the armor. And then it's Comic-Con. <laughs> so prayers, honestly, that this stuff gets done on time. Uh, it's kind of just a mad dash at this point. So thank you for tuning in to Honey Lemon's Purse Build. You know the YouTube drill. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the little notification bell so you can see the rest of our lovely Honey Lemon Build. And I will catch you guys next week.